This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Melissa, she loved her son more than anything. More than anything in the world. <laughs> Melissa was a really, really, really good mom. Uh, she would do anything for Colby. Colby lived with Melissa until about three years ago when she ended up getting really badly into drugs. I love you. Love you too. Melissa is unbelievably strong, but she's incredibly broken. Okay, bye. Love you. My name is Melissa, and I am addicted to crack cocaine. When would you like me to come over? I guess whenever is good. And I sell my body to men and I sell it just so that I can get high. She doesn't have a home. Everything she has is in a couple boxes and suitcase in her mom's bedroom right now. I tell these guys that I'm an online webcam model selling my photos for additional cash. And I'm making about 5,500 a month doing that. It's all gone. She owes money to drug dealers and they're texting her all the time. They want to find her. And they will, they'll find her. She makes them believe she'll pay them back, or she'll pay them with her body, or one of us will give her the money and she'll pay them. Melissa was eight pounds, six ounce, healthy, smiley baby, so happy. Her dad wasn't happy about it. He thought that I cheated on him and it wasn't his child? Well, when I was six months old, my dad went to get milk and he didn't come back. He was gone, just up and left. Melissa was really bubbly and super happy when she was a young kid, trying to make everybody smile. We would do little choreograph dances and perform for our family and friends. Val was always kind of someone who didn't like pick the greatest boyfriends or fathers for her children, and she seemed to kind of rather be with somebody than be alone. My mom had different men around that, you know, were alcoholics and very abusive. My earliest memory was having a fork jabbed through my hand at a dinner table by a man that my mom was with. Melissa, I think, was abused quite a bit by a few different guys. My mom would do as much as she could to assure us things are gonna get better. But when your mother is afraid if she's going to live or die that day, it's very hard to look at her and believe her because they're not going to get better. Things were hard at that time. I didn't know what to do. I had no money. So I up and left. In school, it's very smart. I always went to class up until grade 12 hit. <laughs> she started hanging around the wrong people, I guess. I was 16 when I met weed. <laughs> weed was the first thing I ever did. I guess I had heard that there was cocaine. Ecstasy was a big one. Then I met crack cocaine around the end of high school, I remember, and I loved it. During prom, I went with one of my best friends and I ended up getting so high that we ended up getting kicked out. She got a couple of minimum wage jobs. She didn't want to go back to school. Basically, she had a bad attitude. A lot of party and drugs. <laughs> she started dressing into the sexier clothes when she was hanging out with the boys. Melissa is attracted to the bad boy. Men who have been in and out of jail and involved uh, in drinking and drugs. She just party, party, party. She was doing drugs. She was delivering drugs. She was dealing drugs. And as time progressed, it only got worse. I was a massive addict up until I got pregnant. I was with a guy, and me and him broke up and he wasn't my type, so I left. All the pain and all the, everything that I went through felt like it was over when I looked into my son's eyes. 
I was so happy. Like this was my reason to live right there, was I am gonna be a mom. I breastfed him, I cared for him. I stayed sober and I decided I wanted to do something better for my son. So I decided to go into my nursing degree. She was posting online that she was getting really good grades and she was really proud of herself. I had straight A's and B's all throughout my nursing. She stayed sober for quite a while. I was doing really well. And out of the blue, her dad, he phoned. I always told them, when you're old enough and you decide if you want to meet your dad, that's your choice. I always longed for sisters. I wanted someone that I could stay up late at night and tell stories to and talk about boyfriends. We were really excited to have a sister. Their dad seemed like he really wanted to be a good father, but we found out later that he has been on drugs for years. He ended up being one of the worst people we know. He got involved in biker gangs and drugs, and after that happened, we decided to disown him again as a father. My dad was an addict his entire life. He was somebody who I always wanted to know who he was, and now I find out that I'm basically just like him. Shortly after that, she ended up meeting a guy, and he was really badly into drugs. I decided to try it. heroin. And, uh, you know, after she ended up meeting that man, she spiraled. <laughs> Melissa's personality changed quite a bit. She was more distant. She was really hard to get in touch with. She never, ever had Colby with her. One night at Melissa's, and this guy she was seeing was there, and Colby was there, and there was a big fight. And one of Melissa's friends said something on social media about drugs. There was a little boy that was around all this chaos. And I called Children's Services, and they said, would you be willing to take him? Brandy has had to put her foot down, and Melissa just doesn't understand, but you can't have a child know their mother as an addict. And when I found out that Colby's developed a tick now that he's back, and he's, you know how scared. guilty that made me feel? I know. Like, I need stinks. to see my kid. Stinks. You know what? Just, like, let me see him. Just, like, bring him, let me see him, because, like, if I can just see what I'm missing... Oh, but you could call. The phone doesn't do anything for me. And Colby constantly ask, when do I get to see you again? What do I say? I have to answer those questions every day. Every day. Is my mommy okay? No seven-year-old should ask that. Oh, my God. Don't come here. He loves you so much. But you're his mom. I'm not. You know? But don't you understand that there's people here that, like, love you yes, and care about you? Yes, I get that, you? but do you not understand? I am not me anymore. Yeah, but you can change. You do you guys want to know how to me, fix me? me? You want to know how to fix Ooh, an addict? Don't talk over you. me right now, because all you do is talk over me, always. You think you know what I'm going through, and you don't, OK? No, I don't. You don't. don't. I don't. How you get someone to feel better about themselves when they use because they feel down is you love them. Because I was terrified of the people that you associate with. Oh my God, with. you're afraid of the people I associate with. I'm raising kids and I don't need my kids to be terrified that there's somebody sitting at the end of the road Why ready to like they come be after you. terrified of that? Kids are not supposed to be aware of those situations. Yeah. You are terrified okay. of that. That okay. happened once. And ever since I then you wanna... have shunned me out. I talked to Brandy on multiple occasions about whether or not I should invite you over here. Why did you say that she called social services on me? Because I did. Oh my God. I signed over my son to you, but you actually called the ministry on me and took him and I signed him to you. I signed That's him to you. You actually physically took my child. I need a minute, I don't want to be bothered. Melissa, you can't do anything like that in my house, though. Melissa, you can't do anything like that in my house. Nothing is getting done in your house. Okay, I just want to make sure um, you're aware of that, please. This is my house and nobody does drugs in my house, okay? You'd call me crying because someone so hurt take my you. Kid. So what am I? So no, take my I'm kid. protecting your kid so take my because kid. you didn't. So take my kid. I didn't take him, Melissa. You threw him away. Hey, Melissa. 
Oh my freaking god. Come on in. No, no, don't. No, 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 no. Oh whoa, whoa, my whoa. god. No, 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 please. Whoa, 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 Melissa, Melissa. No, f that. You guys are f jokes, Melissa. man. Oh my god. This was supposed to be a documentary. Why is it you guys all lied to me? Every f person in this room just lied to me. You need to change yourself before it's too late. I remember how good of a mom you were. As for me, I will have to protect my children from the lifestyle you choose to choose. For my health, I need to remove myself from this stress. Please, please. <laughs> you are the last thing I think about when I go to sleep, and the first thing I think about when I wake up. I have watched you go from being a proud, loving mother to someone that gave up on everything that mattered to her. I have been your enabler for a long time. I cry constantly because I know I'm helping you to do what you're doing. I cannot be a part of that anymore. I really need you to get the help you need for yourself. I'm here today because I love you. If you make the decision, not to get help today. I will have no choice but to shield Colby from any more pain. I've held on to court papers for over a year waiting for this to get better. And I'll have to file them and to terminate all parental rights when I get home. I have no choice left. Just need to say yes. Colby did write a letter to you. Dear mommy, you are the best mommy and I miss you when I'm away. I don't like you being sick. I want you to be better and to be my mommy again forever and ever. You are my favorite mommy in the whole world. Love, Colby. Well, they've organized a 90-day stay at a facility in Maple Ridge. It's called the West Coast Wellness Center for Women. So I've seen a lot of people heal there, people just like you. So it comes down to the big question. Are you willing to take the help being offered to you today? I'll do anything for my kid. <laughs> I love you. Okay. I'm sorry. Mommy, get up here. Come on, Mom. Melissa, welcome to West Coast Wellness Center. I'm Norma Jean. Come on in. <laughs> 